Now, I'm not a massive horror fan, but Tom, you've been to see the latest thriller to hit the box office called It Follows. I certainly have, and I just want to start by saying I absolutely love this film. I thought it was really good. It's written and directed by David Mitchell, not David Mitchell, who we all know. Inst uh, it follows the story of Jay, played by Micah Monroe. She's a 19-year-old girl who, after a bit of How's Your Father, finds herself pursued by what I can only describe as an ST demon. The, monster, the rules of the monster are simple. It follows, it will only walk after you, it can look like anyone or anything, and the only way to get rid of it is to pass it on. The only way you can pass it on is to have sex with someone else. Now, I really like this film because it's actually very clever in the way it references older horror films. There's a lot of, of uh, John Carpenter's Halloween in this. I mean, the idea of the monster that's constantly following you and it can't be stopped, it's a menace when it gets you. It, what it's going to do is inevitable. There's also references to the entity in that film with the sexual violence that this drives this creature. And then there's also playful references to Cabin in the Woods in this film. I mean, you've got the whole sort of dissection of horror tropes. I mean, the idea of you have sex and then you catch the demon is just playing on the concept of the first people who have sex in a horror film are usually the first to die, you know, and that sort of thing. I, I really, really enjoyed this film. There's a lot to like in it, but a particular... Um, uh, significance for me was the brilliant soundtrack by Disaster Piece. It was incredible. A real rhythmic, pounding, in, uh, dangerous thing. It referenced again John Carpenter's Halloween, the original score from that. The do, 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 that. And then there's also, as it goes on, it starts to reference Charles Bernstein's work from the entity. The drilling, rhythmic pounding of, and the violence behind this music. When you're listening to it, you, there doesn't have to be anything on screen. You're just frightened for what's the inevitable, what's coming towards you. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a really, really, really powerful powerful piece of work, really fun. A few criticisms would be, I wasn't actually that frightened through it because the monster is slow. You could outrun this thing. It just walks. That adds to the fear. But at the same time, I could have done with some, a little bit of, you know, a little bit more. One more thing as well, though, that I just have to, I just have to say is this film really at the heart of it is a good thriller. You need to see it in the cinema. Don't, don't go, don't, don't pirate it. Don't do anything like that. Go see it in the cinema. It's incredible. Follow your friends into the cinema and pass on the message that this film is fantastic. Well, that seems like one to watch. Thank you, Tom.